Hello everyone, this is Ying. I'm a thermal engineer from Facebook. Today, Albert and I will talk about the standalone rack level liquid cooling solution design. As a first portion, I will cover the thermal architecture design, and Albert will talk about the detailed design, also walk you through some preliminary testing data. So a standalone rack level liquid cooling system has some advantages. For example, it requires no facility change. Uh, the key components are compatible for open rack V3. It has a high serviceability and independent rack level cooling control. So at the thermal architecture level, it is an L-assisted liquid cooling system, which means the heat dissipated from the high power components, such as from the CPU and the GPU, is transferred to the real door heat changer through cold plate and the other heat from the IT gears is cooled by the air directly. Regarding to the heat dissipation path at the coolant side, uh, the coolant going through the cold plate in each of the chassis carries the hot heat from the major heat components such as CPU and GPU, and then it's going through the real door heat exchanger, reduce the temperature, and pumped through the coolant distribution unit and back to the cold plate, and the cycle continues. So at the air side, um, the cold air from the DC going through the uh, rack or the each of the chassis, and it's carried some of the heat from the uh, other components, which is cooled by the air directly, and then the preheated air going through the real door heat changer to cool the coolant and become even warmer, then exhausted to the hot air side of the data center. So the total CFM going through the real door heat changer actually is controlled by the rack level, which is based on the CFM per watt requirement. So for the next portion, I will hand over to Albert, and he will talk about the detailed design. Thanks, everyone. This is Elber Lee from Weiwei Thermal Solution Team. About today's topic, I would like to introduce the regulable liquid cooling solution. Uh, the design concept is uh, similar with the assistant uh, liquid cooling. I want to spend a little time to explain here uh, what means uh, staying alone. In this solution, it means first the solution will request no extra facility coolant and uh, infrastructure change here. Uh, second one means the solution will have independent rate cooling control system. Uh, the solution is under development now, and we plan to have a working L11 system in Q3 this year. The L11 tax will start from Q4 this year. Uh, we will contribute the design drawing and the test result to OCB in next year. I would like to share the design factors and the design target we will plan to do. First is about the performance. As we know, corporate and active real door heat changer are two key parts uh, in this solution for heat dissipation. So, active uh, real door heat changer, uh, the, the mechanical dimension design we will follow and meet OCP door heat changer spec. You can check uh, the detailed dimension here. And for the total weight with colon, it will be under 150 kilogram. And the current uh, open rack V3 power design will support up to 33 or 36 kilowatt per rack. This means we must uh, limit our uh, mass mass airflow rate usage. In order to meet a 0.17 per watt design target, so airflow usage will be under 3300 CFN and support one fan or one rotor redundancy. As we know, 70% rack power is from the main chip like a CPU, GPU, or air sick. So uh, for the air active rail door exchanger, the cooling capacity design target support up to 33 kilowatts. Our next one, we want to talk about the corporate performance. We did a single corporate performance test with the 250 watt TTB and using water as a coolant. At one LPN scenario, current thermal resistance can touch to 0.036, and the pressure drop is to 4.2 kPa. We also test the corporate design by a serial design with a no quick disconnector because we plan to implement the corporate module in one use break code system. So we can see the pressure drop will up to 30 kPa at one LPN. 
And why we plan to add the internal phase dynamic between the two couplets? Let's uh, consider another design factor here. This is for the serviceability. In order to make the make sure the corporate maintenance will be easy to assemble, we plan to add the internal quick disconnector between the two corporates and uh, using a soft tube for, as I mentioned, uh, for system assembly and uh, disassembly. Add the extra internal quick disconnect here, it's possible to maintain and uh, disassemble the single corporate separately, like this photo show. Of course, we also need to modify the chassis design for corporate pipe routing and make sure we can assemble the corporate side up and side down. For the right manifold, in order to maintain the servers from coir as current usage, so we plan to use the primary self alignment quick discounter as the current interface between the L10 system and the Rack manifold. And for CDU and the Rack manifold and the real door central, we prefer to use the manual mate with this connector to simplify the design. And for Rack manifold, uh, we prefer to use the two separate manifold to balance the connect force. And we can get more force for this connector sizing for, to meet different uh, system requirements. As we mentioned before, the solution will have independent cooling control system. So the uh, next design factor we want to discuss about the control. We can check here the CDU will own the control to control the fan on the air active rear door heat changer and the pump speed in the CDU. And for the IT gears, the system, the IT gear will control a system fan by BMC. If set the control, the CDU also can monitor all sensors and the status of the CDU and the rear door heat changer. And here I want to mention here is about the cooling power assumption. We will design the CDU to monitor except the temperature also including the power consumption. This is for future to estimate the cooling power consumption. The last one is compatible design. Because the CDU the design will implement not only implement in open rack, it also can meet implement in 19 inch rack. So for CDU, like I mentioned, design we will design for 4U 90-inch CDU and uh, design extra a kit to fit open rack. And for power, we will decide to support 48 volts and the 12 volts with the power bus bar and the design the possibility to use the external PSU for support 90-inch rack. We will keep optimized the corporate design for better serviceability. Of course, another is the, about the coolant leakage. As we know, in liquid cooling solution, coolant leakage is a main concern for user. We we'll keep optimize the leakage detection uh, for safety. Last one is the we will try to expand the CDU's uh, functionality for better control and the management. This is all my presentation, and if any idea or suggestion is very welcome. And uh, we also hope more partners join the SC Accelerator. So you can access the below link to get more information about the SCS sub project. Thank you. We win. Your best choice for workload optimization and TCO.